Hey everyone, this is Gleb and today I want to show an example of how you would spy on console log when the console log is called from within a click handler. So right now I have my piece of application code, you can see the button, every time I click on it, it should console log clicked. Let's open DevTools and you can see the clicks and every time I click on a button, I can see another console log. So let's confirm it. Our test already finds the button and clicks three times. So before this action, we have to set up a spy on the console log method. Now this console object is a property of application window. So we need to get the window object, its console property, and then we get reference to the actual object and we can set up a spy on that object and the method name is log. And we'll give it an alias log just so we can get that particular spy later. So now you can see every time we clicked on the button, the log spy is called by the application code. So now we can confirm it. We can get the log using its alias and we can add an assertion should have been called right. This is one of the Sinon Chai assertions. So this confirms that console log was called three times. Now there is one extra thing that I want to show. Yes, this event listener will be invoked every time you, we click on the button. You can add options to the event listener and one of the options is once. So if I set once true, then notice what happened. We clicked three times, but the log alias was invoked only once. And this is the expected behavior, right? This event handler will only execute once and then the rest of events will not trigger this callback at all. So let's confirm it. The way I will do it is I'm gonna remove clicks and so should call once. So first time we click, it um, is called. And then let's say we click two more times, well, the log will still remain clicked once. And then we can even invoke reset history on the Sinon spy. And in that case, we can click a couple more times and the assertion would be that the spy was never called, should not be called. All right, so this confirms that we can spy on the console log method and depending on how event handler is registered, we can get an assert that every click produces an event, or if it's registered with once true, then only the first event is triggered and the rest never trigger the callback. Find this recipe and a lot more at my site glebachmoda.com slash cypress examples. I will link it in the description of this video.